ever since Elon Musk has taken over Twitter, he has been battling a lot of his adversaries, many of those being on the left and some advertisers. A lot of the people on the left in particular do not like the fact that as Elon Musk has taken over Twitter, he has opened up to be more of a free speech platform. Definitely more free speech than compared to the previous regimes. He has allowed people to actually see, tell, and talk about both sides of the story as then when under the previous regime, you could only get one narrative. But Elon Musk has opened that up so now everybody is free to speak on the platform. And that has not stopped the haters from coming out of the closet from attacking him and going after him. A lot of people have been attacking Twitter. A lot of people have also been stating that they're going to leave Twitter, that they don't like Twitter anymore, anymore, and they want to go on to a number of these other platforms who have yet to step up to take on the challenge of Twitter. And I don't think any of those will. But in this latest episode right here, there are advertisers such as Apple and Disney that have stopped advertising on the platform. And Elon Musk has one simple message to them. Go F yourself. And I'm going to let you hear that video. But before we jump into that, if you are new to this channel and like this type of content, please do me a huge favor. Consider hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and hit the like button as well. All right, let's jump into this article. All right, this is an article right here out of Apple Insider. Elon Musk tells advertisers like Apple, Disney, go F yourself after boycott. All right, let's jump into this just a little bit. As the companies like Apple and Disney put advertising, Elon Musk says it will be the advertiser's fault if X goes under, suggesting users will boycott them in return. After Elon Musk promoted anti-Semitic content via his personal account reports of advertisements appearing next to other anti-Semitic con anti -Semitic content, Apple and other advertisers boycotted X. Uh, first of all, let's talk about that. What Elon Musk said, I'm not going to get into great detail about what he actually said. You can actually go look it up. What he said was not an anti-Semitic comment. It was just a, some mild criticism of the Jewish community. Now, actually, many of you probably are online. You know how it is. If you don't give any glowing, lick, boot-licking comments about the Jewish community, then they automatic you label you as an anti-Semite. And so Elon Musk was just making some mild criticism of the Jewish community, and they didn't like that. And people like Apple and Disney want to get up on their high horse and say, well, you're being anti-Semitic, so we're going to take our advertising. But enough of talking. Let's actually look at this video and see what Elon Musk himself said. And this was at uh, the New York Times um, Deal Book Summit. And this host right here, Andy Sorkin, I think he's on CNBC. So let's just hear... Uh, some of the comments that Elon Musk had to say for himself. Public perception that, and, and you're clarifying this now, um, but there's a public perception that that was part of a apology tour, if you will. That yeah. this had been said online, there was all of the criticism, there was advertisers leaving. We talked to Bob Iger I hope today. they stop. You hope? Uh, don't advertise. You don't want them to? See, right there, he already says he's going, he's going to clarify this three times just to make it perfectly clear to the advertiser. This is the first time he said, don't advertise, but it gets more. Just go. Advertise? No. What do you mean? If, if somebody's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go fuck yourself. But go fuck yourself. As if that's not pretty clear, he blatantly tells them twice they can go F off because he, he is sick and tired of all the games. And he's going to get into a little bit more about that as, you know, his comments continue. So let's take a look. Is that clear? I hope it is. Hey, Bob, if you're in the audience. And that was a shout out to Bob. Bob Iger, who is the CEO over at Disney. So he basically caught him out right on stage. But I would love to have seen Linda Yaccarino, who is the current um, Twitter CEO. I would have loved that they had a camera on her. I mean, I'm sure they didn't know that this was going to happen, but I would have loved to see her face as he said that go F off comments to them. I bet she was quivering. I bet she was shaking in her boots. She did not like that because she's, she's in charge of advertising. Well, she, her background was in advertising. That's why he kind of, put her as a CEO because he wanted to improve the advertising revenue for Twitter. So that's why he put her in charge. And I'm sure 
she is she does not like this comment but she should have known once she took the job she knows she should have known that you know must say what he wants to say you know he can say it because he has what we call f u money he can pretty much say whatever he wants to say and he and he does say it that is why a lot of people do like what Elon Musk has done with Twitter and all that, but he also says what he wants to say. He doesn't cower and chicken, you know, like a lot of people or a lot of, uh, well, um, people that are out there in, in the public space, a lot of billionaires, a lot of rich people who want to, you know, toe the fence and won't say anything that will deem um, offensive. Elon Musk says it like it is. So let's just listen to the rest of his comments. Well, well let me ask you then, that's how I feel. Don't about, advertise. How do you think then about the economics of, of X? If, 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 if part of the underlying model, at least today, and maybe it needs to shift, maybe the answer is it needs to shift away from advertising. Um, if, if you believe that this is the one part of your business where you will be beholden to those who uh, have this view, G what do you do? F Y. I, I understand that, but there's a reality too, <laughs> right? Yes. No. No. I, I mean, Linda no, Yaccarino's right here, and she's got to sell advertising. I, I, absolutely. So, um, no, no, totally. So, so, no, no. Actually, what what this advertising boycott is uh, is is going to do? It's it's going to kill the company. And do you think that? The I, I, but, and the whole world will know that those advertisers killed the company, and we will document it in great detail. But there are those advertisers, I imagine, are going to say they're going to say we didn't kill the company. Oh yeah, they're going to say tell it to the, tell it to Earth. But they're going to say that they're going to say Elon that you killed the company because you said these things, and that they were inappropriate things, and that they didn't feel comfortable on the platform. Right. Let's that's see, that's and, what and they're going to say. And let's see how Earth responds to that. All right, so there's the rest of his comments. You see that. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about is him saying that if the advertisers do continue to boycott, that it will kill the company. So let's play that scenario out. If, you know, major advertisers pull their their, their dollars, which is in the millions, of course, um, it, will it kill off the platform? So let's just say if it does. If it does kill off the platform, I think he does have a point. I think those who are informed and those who are aware of what's going on and know the backstory will will kind of side with Twitter and with what Elon Musk is saying and that it was the advertiser who did it. I mean, sure, he, he if he made a comment that was, you know, offensive and anti-Semitic, it doesn't give anybody the right to just take his company away from him or destroy a company. He's one person on one platform. There's millions of people on on the, on Twitter that if you don't want to listen to him, you can block him. So this whole notion that, oh, we don't want to put our advertising dollars on this platform because somebody said some comment, whatever, it's, it's just fake, fake outrage from, from Apple and Disney and the like, and I love that he called out Bob Iger and specifically in the, in the crowd, but yeah, so the other scenario, but in actuality, I don't know if Twitter will actually go anywhere or be destroyed if advertisers pull their dollars because there are many other people a lot of conservatives a lot of people on the right um that are talking about you know advertising millions of dollars on its platform so i think they'll probably replace some of that money you know you know i've heard tim pool say something about there heard some other conservatives andrew tate say he would do like maybe a hundred thousand dollars a month in advertising so there are people who are going to step up and you know pick up the slack if apple and disney completely who abandons advertising on Disney. I mean, I'm sorry, on Twitter. But, well, I, I, I personally don't think that anything is going to happen to Twitter if these advertisers do go out. I think he'll just shift to a more subscription model or more subscriptions as he, as he has been doing. So, but I think that will continue. But let's talk about some of the history that has gone on between especially him and Apple. Um, this was an article from back in November of 2022. Elon Musk implies Apple hates free speech after mostly stopped advertising on Twitter. So Apple has already did this. So Apple has already threatened Twitter with this stopping the advertising. And we know Apple is not a free speech company. We know Tim Cook has called for, you know, limited speech. You know, he's obviously over in China, you know, buddy, buddy with Xi Jinping and them. So Apple is not a free speech platform. They take down many apps 
on their platforms that they don't agree with, you know. So, so this is a history that goes all the way back between them two, and I and I'm sure that this won't be the last thing, but I I know I'm going to side with Elon Musk on this. I'm glad that he has the balls to tell the advertisers to go f off. Um, I hope a lot of other people will grow balls as well and start sticking it to these advertisers. They cannot control what you're going to say. If they don't want to be on your platform, fine, go somewhere else. But they should not be dictating what you can or cannot say on your own platform or on any platform for that matter. So I'm going to stick with Ella, with Elon Musk on that. But you know that is good to see that Elon Musk is doing the, doing this, and I think this is the right thing. So let me know what you think down in the comment section. Do you think Elon Musk had the right to say that? Do you think it was right for him to say that? Or are you on the other side thinking that it was offensive to say that? Or you think he should not have said that? Let me know down in the comment section. I would love to hear what you guys think. That is everything I have for you in this video. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Again, if you are new to this channel, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and hit that like button if you are enjoying this video also if you want to stay up to date with the latest tech news please head over to soundstory.com where i curate and aggregate tech news from across the web covering apple samsung google android computing and even more tech news all at soundstory.com and until the next video guys stay nerdy